Hi. I wanted to make a few cards, so I thought I would um, share those cards with you. One is a just because I um, had the stamp and um, my cousin mentioned that she likes turtles. And I thought, you know what, I have these turtle stamps and what a better way to just make a cute little card for her. This is the card um, pad that I used. And it's Simple Stories, Summer Fresh. And I didn't realize, and you know, I'm sure I got this at um, Tuesday morning. I'm sure that I didn't uh, pay full price. I bet you I paid like $1.99 for it. But what a cute pad. I mean, this is all about like summer. Really cute. Look at summer. This is, this is my happy place. So sweet together, live, laugh, play, join the fun. Look at how adorable. There's a little jar with the flowers. You are my sunshine. Look at that. And then all these cute little patterns. And then you get the double, and it's double-sided. How cute. So I thought, well, let me see what I have, like in the green, and I do like polka dots. So what I did is I used this cardstock. And here is the card. And um, this stamp here is, I believe, Peachy Keen. And if anybody's ever seen or gone on their website, Peachy Keen Stamps, they're a family-owned company, and they're made in Wisconsin. And uh, they're really good quality stamps. So I had that one and this one. And I know I got this in one of the hauls from one of the thrift stores, but I thought this one was so cute that I thought that I would go ahead and just use this turtle stamp. And then I pulled out a bunch of my stamps, my sentiment stamps. I just didn't know which one. And then I saw this one that just said, hey there. And that's what I stamped on there. These are some of the cards that were in this uh, paper stack. And I used some Flower Soft. And you can see a little bit of the dimension. I don't want to make it two dimensional because I want to put it in the mail. And uh, so I used Flower Soft here. It's still kind of dry. And then here, okay, let's, these are the stickers these little dots. I know I got these at the dollar store. And these flowers here. These were the petal loop that I got at um, Tuesday morning. They were $5.99. I got them for $1.99. So I added that there. And like I say, here's some of the cute little tags that I just cut out. Uh, some of them are just so cute. I just didn't know which one to use, but I thought I would just layer it. And then, like I say, it's just a cute little card just to say hi. And there is the uh, inside, and I'll add my little note, and I will drop it in the mail. Hopefully I'll be able to put it in today's mail if this glue dries fast enough to go ahead and put it in the mailbox before the mailman comes. And there is my little stamp. So that's the one card that I made. Oh, and I colored it with my Copics, and I used um, G12, G14, and G24. And when I pulled these colors out, I realized I had a 2G12. So, hmm, I don't know how that happened. So I have an extra G12. So that is what I used with this one. And then my other card share... This is um, called The Good Life, and this is really another one from Tuesday morning. It was $7.99. I got it for $1.99, and I like this one because it was more masculine. Really cute papers. So on this one... I made this card, and this is the Father's Day card for Ray. And I've had this stamp for I don't know how long, but I really liked it, and I thought now is the time 
that you are the peanut to my butter, the water to my ocean, glaze on my donut, spring in my step, twinkle in my eye, blue in my sky, cherry on my sundae, flip to my flop, milk for my cookie, cheese to my macaroni, beat of my heart, best to my friend, and love of my life. So how appropriate for Ray. Here's that paper. Um, I cut it, I made a heart, I cut a heart out. And here you can see that I did a little bit of um, emboss folder. It was a paisley. Here is some Tim Holtz coins or whatever you call them. And I had some buttons and put some twine and just glued the buttons. And that just had put an absolute little bit of bling on there. And um, here's the other half of the heart. And I just stamped Happy Father's Day. And then I will write my uh, sentiment in uh, the card. So that's my second card. And what I wanted um, the other day, Graphic 45 sent out an email. And sometimes they give you um, uh, PDFs that you can go ahead and download. And I've made this card before. But that was prior to me buying my scoreboard, and it was so much harder to make. And I thought, well, I'm going to check this out again. I want to get my brain kind of going again. I just, <coughs> excuse me, every so often, you know, you, you, you just got to get your brain going a little bit more. So I thought this wasn't challenging, but it was kind of nice to do something a little different. I'm in the mood to make a little bit of cards. And um, I will show you some more of my cards at the end with my um, Karatake watercolors. I'm still trying I am, believe me, I am trying to color with watercolors. It's not as easy as it looks, but it is a lot of fun. And uh, so please bear with me, but I am going to share those um, cards with you. Uh, but here is, this is called the Shutter Card. And it is very easy to make with the instructions from uh, Graphic 45. And this time I pulled out my engraver my Prima engraver. And this is the uh, A4 uh, pad of paper. Be well, naturally it's Prima, but beautiful, beautiful paper. And I just wanted to do a little bit more of a vintage instead of doing all the bright, like I've been doing the bird crazies and doing bright and kind of crazy. And I wanted to uh, do just a little bit, um, a little bit more vintage here, sorry for that, there's this glare. Here's the um, clips that I had, the collection, and then the buttons. I still didn't use uh, the buttons, but anyway, that's the paper. Oops. This is the paper pad that I used, and I think you'll be able to see this. Here's the card, and let me see if I do it like this. I don't know if you'll be able to see it any better. And you open it like that. And that's what it looks like. And all I did is they had in the pad here, they had a small card that I just cut out and I um, just edged it a little bit. I took some seam binding, added that, and then this is a uh, Prima, oops, there's some glue here. This is a Prima flower and I added that to it. So here it is, and what's nice is because it folds up, and this is a, a, a four and a quarter by five and a half card. And I did use a clip on here, and um, all I did is I had these little cards, and you can go ahead and add your sentiment here. So there is my shutter card using the Prima paper. So those are a few of my cards that I've made, and like I say, at the end, I will just do a fast of um, my um, Bird Crazies birds from Tim Holtz that I used my uh, watercolors. So thanks for watching. Bye.